Yo, what up guys? It is me. Um, for today, I have a different kind of video. Basically, I'll be reviewing one of my one of my games. This game is from like three weeks ago, so I don't remember much of it. But I remember I saved it to make a video about it and be like in the mind of a challenger and like explain the things I do and like why I do them. Uh, so maybe you guys can learn. I don't know. I, I, it's worth a try. You guys pay attention. So yeah, I'm jungle. I get to feel jungle like 80% of my games, by the way. It's kind of disgusting, but whatever. Um, I go top lane here. Normally I don't go for level 2 ganks, but apparently here I do. Interesting. Ah, it's because he proc'd phase rush. Yeah, okay, so it's free. Wait, what happened? Okay, they're like level 1 fighting. Shen takes E, and Jace procs phase rush. Jace without phase rush, level 1, he has like no ways of escaping that except for flashing. So yeah, normally I don't level 2 gank, but I guess here it's worth. I waste like 20 seconds. Yeah, I waste, I waste like 20 seconds, which isn't much. 20 seconds, it's a lot for jungle early game, but it's not enough for Fiddle to invade me, both side. So yeah, that's worth. Just a quick kill. Yeah, normally how I play jungle, Talia. And I think this is how most junglers should be played. Now, of course, I'm no expert in every jungler. I'd just be maining Talia, but... I still think full clearing is the best way to play as a jungler. Like, you want to kill these camps, you want to reset, you want to kill them again on spawn. And, like, basically have perfect CS. And if there is a free gank available, you take it, of course. Which will happen a lot in lower elos, but in higher elos less. But uh... Yeah, the game plan should just be full clear, reset, full clear, reset, full clear. But you do look at your laners, like right now I'm looking bot lane, in case my fiddle goes, their fiddle goes for like a weird gank. But it's a fiddle, so he shouldn't be able to gank. You can also see, cause I level 2 gank top, he's like way ahead of me, in terms of clearing. So I ping my own back, because Fiddle is there, or that could be there. You always want to track the enemy jungle, by the way. Always. You want to do it as a mid laner, top laner, bot laner. But especially as a jungler, like, you're not even laning, so... You might as well just track the enemy jungler and, like, ping your laners back or whatever. So yeah, I base. I waste a bit of time bot lane. Why did I go bull lane? I think I went here in case Fiddle came bull lane, but he went mid. So yeah, I just base. I get boots. Now you can take Lost Chapter as well on first base, but I just like boots, boots, cause you're fast and you do a lot of damage. Okay, top no flash. So yeah, here I go for an invade on enemy chickens, I think, cause they just respawn. Like, as a jungler, you track at least... Well, there's a lot of things you look at, right? You look at, like, what people have flashes, like, what is gankable, and whatever, whatever. But the two most important things that you should keep track of is enemy jungler, like, where he is, obviously, and their camps, like, their spawns, like, where they start. So I know he started chickens, because that's just where he started. So his chickens are up. He did not base... I did base. I have my boots. He does not have items. So, I mean, it's a fiddle, so even if I have no items, I can invade this. But in general, if it's any other jungler, it's the same thing. If he's the one who didn't base, and I did base, I'm stronger than him. 90% of the time. Like, if it's a Kha'Zix, Kha'Zix is just broken. Same for Rengar. Like, you can't do this with against Rengar or Kha'Zix, but like... On paper, you should be able to do this against almost everybody. So I take his camp. I did use my smite. Like his crux are also up. I don't know if I'm going for crux as well. I have no smite. 
And like Jace could be here as well. Okay, what I'm doing right here is just int, not gonna lie. I don't re really remember a lot from this game, because it's from like three weeks ago. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I'm doing right here, I'm just wasting time. So yeah, it, challenger players make mistakes as well. I should be on my Gromp right now. Should be on my Wolves, because I should have finished Gromp by now. So yeah, I'm just wasting time there. What is this? I'm being invaded by the Jace. What is this game? This is such a random invade. Fiddlesticks is basing and this guy's invading on his own. <clears throat> okay, well, I assume that guy dies. Yeah. So I just be full clearing again. Top to bot. Wait, wait, wait. Apparently I don't. Okay, no, I don't. The reason why is Jace just died. Fiddlesticks is going bot side because, as I said, you have to. You have to track him. Fiddlesticks, he cleared his chickens. Well, I took it. Cleared his crocs. Then he based. Where is he gonna go from base? He's gonna go both side because his both side camps are up. His top side camps aren't up. He has zero reason to go top side. You see this fat ass wave. You see my Shen came from a reset. Shen and Jays are about to arrive at the same time. So, instead of going bot lane, where they died, apparently, uh, or based, I don't know. But yeah, I can I can go for chickens, Krugs, and there's no other play available, right? Because I assume my Silas dies here. Does he even die? No, the Zed dies. Well, Ixie. Either way, there's no playable land. Instead, I go top. Jace has no flash, because I saw that earlier. Guys coming from reset. It's not just a kill. It's about denying the wave. So this guy is free as fuck to die. Fiddlesticks isn't going to be here, because he's going to be bot, because we tracked him. Apparently my Ezreal was scripting as well, which happens a lot in high elo, hello Riot Games, fix it. So yeah, we got 200 gold, doesn't really matter, it's about how much he misses. So yeah, then I base, I get Lost Chapter, I type to my team that he's bot side, the Fido sticks. I don't even go for my bot side camps, because since I dove top lane, Fiddle should be aware and just take my bot side camps. There's like an 80% chance he took them. If he's bad, he didn't. If he's good, he did. But yeah, I just assume that he did and I don't waste time to go both side. I just go for my top side instead. So yeah, right now, the reason I don't clear my bot side is because I just assume they're gone, by the way. So I'm looking for ganks instead. However... Yeah, a Zed is not gankable, by the way. The champion is just broken. You can only gank him if he doesn't have W or ult. Like, if he has both up, there's no way you can gank that. So yeah, I assume I just clear my top side camps and then go for Herald. Take Herald whenever you can, by the way, that thing is broken. I take my camps first, just to get some HP back, because I got pretty low. Okay, so I take one camp, Fatal Sticks once again. You want to track enemy jungler, he's both side. So yeah, right now, I wanted to invade this, but... I don't, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what's going on in this game. This game was three weeks ago, so I don't really remember it that well. Why is enemy Jay's mid? I don't get it. Is he just running it down? Chat, yeah, anyways, i just be clearing again. Take the mid wave, because my Yon is dead. Or base. Just full clear. Also, when playing jungle, and a lot of junglers make this mistake, even in high elo, timing is really important. So you don't want to waste a lot of time on camps when you should be somewhere else, you know? The moment I see Fiddle on the map, I instantly smite this motherfucker and I go bot lane. Because I have to be there ASAP. 
like timing and uh, placement is really important. So yeah, we got two kills because I'm there in time and I didn't do crocs or whatever else. Just reset, clear tops, top side again. The thing is though, this game is a bit awkward. Like normally, how I play the game as a jungler, I repeated this before as well, is top to bot, right? Because there's so much ganking and fighting going on, there is no top to bot. Like I did not do wolves after my gromp. So after I took my gromp this time, I have to wait longer for the gromp for the wolves to respawn. So I basically have nothing to do. That's why I look for a random gank or invade or whatever I'm doing. I don't have anything to do because I didn't full clear in the first place. But like normally you want to full clear for that reason as well, so your camps like spawn in a good moment. They should never be gankable by the way, I don't know, maybe Yon had no ult. But yeah, I placed the Herald down because we see Lux bot lane. We didn't see Fado at the time but he's here as well. So nobody is there to defend Harold. And right now I'm just zoning Fiddle. Like I'm not looking for a fight because I know Lux is here as well. Otherwise I would go for the Gromp but I can't because Lux. So I just want him to attack this. See Fiddle base here. So right now Fiddle is bot. We saw him base. Maybe he's gonna cancel that base, maybe he's not. Either way, I know his red buff is spawning, so I go for his red buff. Because even if he bases, he's not there in time. But uh, he went for a gank instead. I mean... Uh, kinda saw him. Apparently I go for this. Not gonna lie, this is not even worth it if his topside cams were up. Like this game is from three weeks ago, so I don't know if his chickens and quags are up. Like right now watching the replay, I did not track Fiddle and like his camps, but like in game I do. So if they're up, it's not worth it. If they're not up, it's worth it obviously. But 100 gold for a kill, like two camps are worth more than 100 gold, so it's about XP as well. Hmm. I think I go for this invade because I have prio mid and support. I mean Lux could be there as well, but like... Thane is under tower, so we have number advantage. Fiddle isn't even here. I guess Fiddle stops at then, I don't know. Like, this game is from three weeks ago, so I don't remember that well. Maybe I should have recorded it sooner, so I like, kind of remember what's going on. We should be carrying off uh, Fiddle, by the way. I think I think I did carry though, because you can see the way I walk is. We know Fiddle's top side. We do know that because we have a ward here. We have a ward here. We have a ward here. So he can't be anywhere where my mouse is basically. But he could be here, right? Like he could be on my ground right now going for a Shen gang from this wall over here or like anywhere here yeah you can see the way I walk I like don't walk too close to this bush but like Loki I'm still in fiddle sticks old range but like not really is this in fiddle old range I think it's like the border of it but I've stopped watch so it should be fine anyways there he is 
You just came to end. Nice. Good job, Fiddle. Proud of you. So right now I go for Harold. Harold's OP. Just clear. Once again, I'm not keeping track of jungler that well, but I'm pretty sure he's on wolves. Yeah, okay, he is. Right now he's on chickens, then goes Krugs. That's what Fido is about to do. So going for dive here should be free. Or that. Well, basically same thing. Set misses out. Okay, what happens here? Also, the reason I don't place my Herald is because um, we'll get this tower anyways, because that went base, right? He was 400 HP. If he stays, he will die to Yon. If he bases, he will lose tower, so there's no point in heralding this. I want to keep my Herald for tier 2. But yeah, I ult here, because map awareness or something like that, I don't know. Okay, honestly... Fiddlestick is just broken. I should not die here because I have stopwatch, but like. What? What is that silence? Like, this guy just flash Q, ease me. Into Vayne. I mean, it's not even my fault, really. Okay, Yon, Faker. Okay, worth. I'm gonna have to say worth. Like, sure, I give 1k to the vein, but uh, yeah, worth, worth. So I go top side because that's where the camps are at. The game is a bit of a clown fiesta, by the way. Like, maybe. But I guess solo queue is clown fiesta. Like, you gotta learn to adapt and shit. Especially in lower elos, like, the game is never gonna go in a quote unquote normal way. Okay, so what I do here is, you see, Vayne is here, you saw Fiddle Z Lux top, you see Jay's bolt. That means, nobody's gonna defend this tower, right? Except for Vayne, and maybe Jay's, but the, the Jay's at this point is like 0-10, like you could, he's basically a minion. So what I do instantly, instead of going topside to like, try to fight those three, I put Harold down mid, knowing only Vayne can defend it, and I try to look for a dive in case she does defend it. So we do that. We get a kill. We get a tower, tier 2 mid lane by the way, which is like worth more than other towers. Not in terms of gold, but in terms of value. Like mid tower, if you break mid towers, the game just opens up so much and then i go for both side camps because i know fiddle is top side so just from watching the map seeing three people top one guy bot lane and only a vein that can't clear waves or defend the tower mid we got two towers and i got his whole bot side and a kill and this is really how you how you win games to be honest like you just do plays that make sense right like it makes sense to go for the dive it makes sense to win the game you guys understand like just win what the fuck jump scare why is this guy jumping me okay i mean banshee saved me there i would have died if not for banshees I don't even know why I waste my time going for this guy. Maybe Dark Seal stacks? I didn't even get an assist. Oh. 
So yeah, I just be clearing again. Probably for an item for like Sonya's. I don't know what I'm building. I'm not even basing. Okay, now I am. Okay, I can tell Clown Fiesta is about to happen. I'm basing because of my gold. I mean, I should have based earlier. I don't know why I stayed like 15 seconds longer than I had to, but I should have based earlier. But I can see my Yon is about to engage. Oh, I based for uh, Horizon. Okay, makes sense. I don't like to go for Zonyas if I have stop stopwatch up. Because the only reason you build Zonyas, it's not because of the AP or the armor. It's because of the fucking active that's broken. So if you have stopwatch up, you might as well just build other items as long as you have this item up. Okay, well, that's a crazy young play right there. I mean, my team should never go for this fight because I'm basing, right? Anyways, I'm here now. What do I do? I do nothing. Motherfucker is flashing on the zero 10 Js. Respect. What am I doing? Oh boy. <laughs> oh, what am I watching? I mean, I deal damage though. Okay, I get the wolf, big. Red smite OP. Look at that still. Okay, well, I get them. My flash was pretty bad. Instantly go Baron. Like, whenever you can take Baron, this is something I've noticed in lower elos, people don't go for Barons. Like, in, in gold, plat, silver, bronze, whatever you are, people below, even in diamond, they don't really go for Barons from what I've seen. People below Masters, they don't take Baron whenever they can. Like, in gold, they would probably go for Dragon, but you see a TP bot from the 0 10 Js. I mean, even if he doesn't TP, even if he goes topside, he's not gonna do anything. He's useless. These two are dead, which means only Vayne Lux can stop us. But, like, they can't. So, whenever you can take Baron, you just take it. Okay, guys? Just take it. Like, we do all this shit. Our team didn't even help. Now, they get Dragon, probably. But who even cares? Like... It's a third Drake, and the game is gonna be over. Like, the moment we take this Baron, we assume the game is gonna be over within five minutes, right? Like, we assume we can end with this Baron. Also, if I ulted, I could have stolen it. I don't, I don't know why I didn't ult. Oh boy. Maybe that's why I saved it. Okay. Oh. Uh -huh. Do we just end? Okay, we don't end. We take a tower and an inib. Just take the enemy camps whenever you can. going on here this play is bad we still have a bit of baron left so i assume the reason why i pushed in top and that only makes sense is to go for top tower like one more tower while we still have baron up because baron lasts on this wave still and then it's gone right so you want to go for one final push top there's no point in going mid lane because we already have mid in it so there's nothing to get mid lane so I'm not sure what this is, this is just int, like we should be 4 man top right now. But yeah, I guess, yeah, I go base. I just got this, cause why not? Don't have money for death cap. I mean, if I get 3.6k gold, which shouldn't happen, cause the game should really be over. Yeah, the game is about to end, I can legit see the timeline. 
But uh, if I do get it, I would probably sell my Magis. Because Zonyas for Zed, pretty important. Banshees for Fiddle, pretty important. Horizons is just broken, so yeah, probably sell the Death Cap. Or Boots, maybe, I don't know. I guess we'll never know. So yeah, right now, we go for this tower, because if you look at the map, basically, if you take all tier 2 towers, like with every tower you take, there's just more space for you to move and less for them. Like with this tower being up, and if enemy team pushes mid-wave, they can still walk here, right? But if this tower is also gone, and this wave is also pushed in all the way, they can never walk anywhere both sides. So it's all about control, really. So yeah, right now we go for this tower. They shouldn't even defend this, to be honest. I don't know how they get away with defending this. Oh, it's because our Ezreal is mid lane. What is this fight? I have no clue what this fight is, but uh... Yeah, I see we have a mid wave, I see Jay's top, Z Zed is somewhere here, right? He got cancelled, okay, so that's game. Is it? Just the 0 11 J is gonna clutch, let's see. Nice try, buddy. So yeah, that's the game. Um, is that a jungle gap? I see. God damn. I mean, it's a team gap as well. GG team. Um, let me know if you guys want more like this. This was kind of a, a clown fiesta, I'm not going to lie. It was from December 19th, which is two weeks ago. Okay, so not three weeks. As you were scripting, I mean, you see that every single game. Riot doesn't care. It's sad, really. It's really sad. But whatever. It is what it is. Anyways, if you guys want more like these where I, like, review my own gameplay, maybe a less Clown Fiesta game, and, uh, yeah, kind of explain how I see the game. I'm not really good at it. It's, like, my first time doing it. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. But let, let me know if you guys learned something. And, uh, goodbye.